Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptive Channel. Today we are going to discuss about Amazon S3 Managed Keys SSE S3. So let's first understand what is AWS S3 encryption. So AWS S3 encryption supports both data at rest and data and transit encryption. So data and transit means S3 allows protection of data in transit by enabling communication via SSL pro uh, protocol. Okay or using client-side encryption. Data at rest, which includes server-side encryption. So S3 encrypts the object before saving it to the disk and in its data centers and decrypt it when the objects are downloaded. Next is the client-side encryption. So data is encrypted at client-side and uploaded to S3. The encryption process is the encryption keys and related tools are managed by the user. Okay, so in client-side, the encryption process, encryption keys are managed by the user, whereas the, in the server-side encryption, S3 manages, uh, like AWS takes care of everything. Okay. So S3 server-side encryption. So server-side encryption is about data encryption at rest. Server-side encryption encrypts only the object data. Okay. Any object metadata is not encrypted. S3 handles the encryption as it writes to the disk and decryption when objects are accessed of the data objects. There is no difference in access mechanism for both encrypted or unencrypted objects and it is handled transparently by S3. So here S3 takes care of everything. You just need to upload your data, non-encrypted data and S3 will encrypt it and take care of the decryption as well. So server-side encryption with S3 managed keys, SSC S3. Each object is encrypted with a unique data key employing strong multi-factor encryption. SSC S3 encrypts the data key with a master key that is regularly rotated. Okay. And S3 server-side encryption uses one of the strongest block ciphers available. 256-bit advanced encryption standard AES-256 to encrypt the data. So whether or not uh, objects are encrypted with SSC S3 can't be enforced with they are uploaded using pre-signed URLs because the only way server-side encryption can be specified is through AWS Management Console or through HTTP request header. So you must set at it, uh, you know header XAMZ server-side encryption to AES-256 value. For enforcing server-side encryption for all the objects that are stored in bucket, use bucket policy that denies permissions to upload the object unless you know, the XAMZ server-side header uh, on the request side is applied. So you can follow my earlier video where I have uh, you know given a hands-on demo for implementing enforcing of server-side encryption using bucket policy. You can go through that. I'll paste the link for that video in the comment section so you can put it. So this is the diagram, overall diagram, where you can see the client uploads the data. Okay, so client's responsibility is only to upload the data, rest everything is taken care by S3, wherein you see this, right? The object data plus plain text key is in, uh, it's going through the encryption algorithm and encrypted object data is uh, presented, okay, stored. Third step, plain text data, uh, plain text S3 data key and S3 master key, okay? And the encryption is, is provided as an input to the encryption algorithm and you get the encrypted S3 data key. And then the plain text data key is removed from the memory. So that's how the overall, you know, workflow uh, is how the SST S3 uh, encryption works, okay? So let's log in to the WS Management Console and I'll show you how exactly it works. So here I'm logged into my WS Management Console. I will navigate to S3. Okay, so we have this uh, S3 dashboard over here. Okay, I'm gonna create a new bucket. Okay, I'll name it something like demo 3105 right i'll keep the default region as uh asia pacific mumbai 
Okay, and uh, okay, I'll, I'll block all the public access, that's fine. Bucket versioning will keep it as a default. Disabled and uh, the default encryption, right? I'll need to click on enable and I'll enable it as SSES. Okay, so now let's create this bucket. So it's it's very easy process. Okay, that's how the uh, encryption got enabled. Now, now uh, S3 is going to take care of everything. Okay, so now we just need to click on demo 3105. Okay, and I will be uploading the data. So what S3 is going to do is it's going to take care of encryption of my data at the rest. So whatever data is going to be stored in S3 is now encrypted, okay, using uh, encryption algorithm. I'll be clicking on the upload button over here. Okay, I'll be adding some files. All right, so I have selected this file over here. Okay, and now if you look uh, you scroll down to the bottom, you will find different properties over here. Okay. Here are server side encryption settings. So click on the encryption key. Use default bucket uh, encryption as per the bucket settings. You need to select this. And as you can see over here, right, the bucket settings are this SSES3. Okay. It looks good. Click on upload. And here we go. Clicked on the object that is there in my bucket. Okay. Let's look at various properties over here. I'm looking for the encryption. So you see, right, the server side encryption settings, which says default encryption is enabled and server side encryption is this. Okay. So now this means that our the object that we have stored in my bucket is encrypted and uh, it's encrypted at rest. Okay. So that's how the SSE S3 works. It's very simple. You just need to enable and upload your data. S3 will take care of everything. I will show you other uh, encryption types in my next video. So. Uh, do like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.